All right, YouTube, we're here with our uh, 2023 uh, Bronco OBX. Um, I unfortunately did not get the upfitter switches, uh, but would like some various lighting on the vehicle. So I'm gonna be uh, installing an eight gang aux beam switch uh, to the cab. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. And then I also got the Rough Country um, lights uh, that have the DRL and full spot as well. Um, so there's two different functions on those, which I will show you as well. Um, the Rough Country is designed to go right to the battery. So um, we're not gonna take the Rough Country to the battery. We're gonna take the Rough Country to the aux beam. Um, and then the aux beam is gonna switch the on and off. And we're gonna switch two different uh, accessories. So we have the low beam and the high beam on the uh, Rough Country. All right, so stay tuned. So getting the Rough Country lights in is pretty easy. Um, there are two screws. Uh, this is a T25 where the accessory goes, and that's a T30. Uh, so you take the T30 up, and then you use a pry tool to pry this cowl up. And then, once that's up, you can put the wire in behind, and then fish it out the engine. And then we did the same thing on the other side. T30, T25, take them both up, pry this up, take the antenna off, makes it a little bit easier. And then as you can see, that wire then goes in behind the cowl and down. So right now I'm doing, I was doing a little testing to figure out what wires are what, because the Rough Country does come with a toggle switch. Um, so now I have the Rough Country directly wired uh, and fused to the battery, positive and negative. Um, and then what's cool about this is it has two different functions. You got a low beam and then you got a high beam. Um, so again, we're gonna be switching uh, two different aux switches on the aux beam um, for this. So what I did figure out um, is that the white is the low beam, the blue is the high beam, the red is the power, which we're gonna disregard because the aux beam is gonna have its own power, and then the black is the ground, which will be grounding directly to the aux beam and not the battery. So uh, again, stay tuned. Pretty cool, like the function so far, and uh, we'll get going. All right, so we got everything wired up uh, for the aux beam. Uh, just quick little uh, video here. Got everything installed already, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, there's the aux beam. You got your positive, you got your negative, and then you got your uh, six switches, all different uh, fuses. So what we did is I uh, checked the wattage on the lights and determined that we should be using the two 10 amp fuses uh, for the high beam and the low beam. This aux beam, I'll leave a link uh, in the description. It's kind of nice. It's also got um, a breaker, a uh, 60 amp breaker. Um, so it's kind of like double protected here between the fuses and the breaker. Got that going right to the battery, negative coming into the battery as well. Um, and you got your whites, your blues for your high and low beams, and then the grounds. Um, I basically just cut off the switch here um, and then uh, cut off the excess wire, zip tied it all up and uh, zip tied this all together. I used double sided tape so I didn't have to drill into the uh, fuse um, panel top. Uh, don't want any water or anything getting in there. So um, all in all, it's a pretty easy install. And you also will see um, where those wires are going in. There's a little grommet. Um, I just cut a little hole in it and was able to fish those wires through. So you can see the grommet from this side where the red aux is coming out, um, or accessory, I should say. Um, that is fused to the panel um, on the inside of the truck uh, so that when the truck is off, all the lights and that aux beam uh, doesn't get any power, so you can't have a power drain. And that other black wire is going to the actual controller unit um, right there. And I just found that that's a pretty good spot. Just use some double-sided Velcro. Um, only thing we have right now is the DRL, which is a low beam and the high beam, which is the cubes. Everything else I used the blank, which they came with one more blank, because that's just, uh, doesn't start or stop anything. Um, comes with some nice stickers, and um, yeah. 
All right, and here's where the uh, underneath, that's where your fuse panel is. Also, incidentally, if you're looking for a door code, that's where your card is. I moved mine. Um, if you want to get one of those keyed entry things, that's where the code would be, um, right by the fuse panel. Um, they're just these little clips. I had to buy a few extra uh, because I did break some, but um, you know, you just basically pull it down and it comes right out. Um, I did some testing and used um, the five amp. Uh, this is your fuse uh, jumper um, that comes in the kit, but um, I used a five amp on uh, slot 35, tested it, um, it wasn't drawing any power um, when the car was off and uh, drew 12 amps or 12 volts uh, when uh, the car was on. So that was a perfect one. And in the manual, it does list it as a five amp spare, not used. So uh, just basically put that jumper on there. And again, so that's um, so that the uh, lights will not work or drain the battery when the car is off. Um, well, it's pretty simple, pretty simple install. And then just to show you the uh, functions, if we put the DRL on, come around to the front, and you'll see a very low light coming out of them. And then if we turn the high beam on, you'll see that's much brighter coming out. All right, so all in all, pretty easy install. Hope you guys found this helpful. Uh, feel free to message, comment, like, subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching.